But attachment theory actually came about, we've been doing research on attachment for probably 70 years, but it really about 40 years ago, we started really honing in on the relationship between the mother and the child. And when I was in graduate school, I was one of five undergrads selected to do an attachment research for a year. And my teacher said, we need five people and it's like two semesters. And I was thinking easy, A, you know, no papers, no reading, nothing. I was like, okay, I'll try it. Fell in love with attachment because I was the one who would stand behind the one way mirror with the mother while we did these interactions. And the interactions were like the parent and baby were filmed for three minutes in a room and it was the way they kind of interacted. And then a moment, like after three minutes, a stranger would walk in and sit and we'd notice the baby and how the baby would respond. And this is about 12, 12, um, about 12 months of age. And this is a time that the baby would start getting kind of like a little bit like, you know, who is this person, you know, stranger anxiety, et cetera. And then after three minutes, the mother would leave and leave the baby with the stranger. And we'd film that interaction. How did the baby respond? And then the mother would come in and the stranger would come out and we would film the, the, the reuniting behavior. Hmm. So then the mother would leave, the baby would be by himself. And we'd notice how the baby kind of reacted to this situation. And then the stranger would come into the baby, another three minute episode. And was the stranger able to calm the baby, et cetera. And then the mother would come in, the stranger would leave and the study would be over. But what we found, which is different than attachment parenting, is attachment parenting is stay with the baby 100% of the time. But attachment theory is really focusing on the relationship of the mother baby. And the reason why I'm saying mother is because most of the time that's what we filmed was the mother, but it can be the primary caregiver, which means the person who's with the baby the most often. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what attachment theory does is we take a look at the relationship. We also look at the, at the disruption. Disruption means when the mother's not there or a stranger's there or the baby's alone. And then how they reunite. And out of this study, we were able to come up with the five primary conditions needed for secure attachment. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.